Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So what are rational numbers? These are numbers in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. So this would be q is not equal to 0. So this is also, so th and that is why a lot of times people feel that rational numbers resemble fractions in some way. Well, there is some sort of resemblance between the two because both rational numbers and fractions, they are numbers in the form p by q. But in case of rational numbers, let's take some examples. 1 by 6, this is a rational number because you have numbers in the form p by q where p and q are both integers. 1 is also an integer, 6 is also an integer. But when you look at this number, this is also a fraction because this is in the form of p by q and here uh, it, it is not representing a complete number. It is not a whole number. It is one part of six parts. So that means it is also a fraction. Let us look at another example, minus 11 by 6. So this is also a rational number because both the numerator and the denominator. So the number which is on the top is called numerator and the number which is at the bottom is called the denominator. So D for denominator, D for down. So that is you can remember this. So in this case, the numerator is minus 11, which is an integer. The denominator is 6, which is again an integer. So this is a rational number. But if I ask you, if minus 11 by 6 a fraction, whether it is a fraction? No, it is not. Because in order to be a fraction, uh, the, both the numbers should be positive. 10 by 24 is again a rational number. 267 by 9808, these are also rational numbers. Minus 9 by 9 or minus 3 is again a rational number. So basically any number in the form P by Q such that P and Q are both integers. And the denominator should never be equal to 0 because if the denominator is 0, anything divided by 0 becomes not defined. So therefore in that case it will not be a rational number. Let us look at an interesting example. 51. Do you think it is a rational number? Uh, in, at the first instance, you might say no because it is not in the form of p by q. But if you look at it carefully, what is 51? 51 is nothing but 51 by 1. So which is in the form of p by q where p and q are both integers. 1 is an integer such that q is not equal to 0. So it, it, it satisfies the definition of rational numbers. Therefore, this is also a rational number. So that means you can say that all the integers minus 3, minus 35, plus 205. So all the integers are rational numbers because every integer can be represented as the number divided by 1 which is in the form of p by q where p and q are integers. Therefore, every integer is a rational number. So let us look at more examples of rational numbers. Now in rational numbers, depending upon the sign of the numerator and the denominator, we, we come across two types of rational numbers, positive rational number and negative rational number. So when it comes to positive rational numbers, these numbers like 1 by 6, 51, minus 9 by minus 3, these are all examples of positive rational numbers because overall the number is positive. Now you might ask minus 9 by minus 3. Here both the numerator and the denominator are negative. So how is it a positive rational number? That's because when you divide minus 9 by minus 3, what do you get? The answer that you get is 3 and not minus 3. Right? You remember, whenever you divide a negative number by a negative number, you get a positive number. We have already learned this in our previous classes. So we know that the end result is going to be a positive number. Therefore, this comes under a positive rational number. So basically, a positive rational number is one in which both the numerator and the denominator have the same sign. Either both of them are positive or both of them are negative. Whereas in case of negative rational number, only one of them is positive. For example, either the numerator negative, denominator positive or the denominator negative, numerator positive. So they are examples of negative rational numbers. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.